I'm here with Mindy. Hi, Mindy. Hi. Tell me what you're doing this summer in um, Rome. Um, I'm taking a photography course um, with Richmond, and it's really fun. We get to go like on site and stuff, and take a lot of pictures. So why did you choose photography? Because um, I like, I've actually had a passion for it for a long time, and I'm taking it at my high school, and um, it just seemed like more fun than history classes. <laughs> <laughs> and so tell me about what you've been doing outside of class. Um, mostly just exploring and doing a lot of shopping, a lot, a lot of shopping. Um, I, I haven't really done much else than shopping, but we kind of just like go and like go on our own little adventures, like me and my friend Meredith, and we just take a bus and see where we end up and then figure out how to get home. <laughs> so it's a bit of an adventure, not just a shopping trip. Yeah, definitely. Getting to know new areas around Rome and around the other towns you live, visit? Yeah. yeah. And you were telling me you had kind of an interesting experience getting over here. Tell me about it. Yeah, um, on the plane going to London for our three-day stopover, I actually got food poisoning and then um, I had to go to the hospital and then... Um, I missed my flight to London, or to Rome, and then I ended up getting to Rome like a couple hours late, and then I dislocated my knee before we went on one of our extra <laughs> trips, and then I almost went to the hospital then, but I just stuck it out and made it now. <laughs> so you were in, but you were in good hands, you got good care yeah, and stuff definitely. like that? Yeah, yeah. They um, sent an extra AIFS person with me to the hospital when I went, and then um, there's probably like 10, 12 students with me um, when I, my knee got really bad in Venice, and then... Um, the director got me a taxi back to the hotel and he like put me in my room and everything and yeah. I've now definitely... for some some students that would kind of really make a difference for them but you've just kept going right? <laughs> yeah I, I did because when I was on the plane um, landing in Rome I figured out that I knew I could do this. I was scared but I knew I could. So, so it's been a real exercise in independence for you. It has definitely. I mean I still call my parents every day but yeah it has. I love it. And, and uh, this is something, do you think that this is something you'll think about doing in college, study Definitely. abroad? yeah, for sure. I'm going like, to try and like, get a lot of my friends to do it too, because this is like, an experience of a lifetime. What, do you, what have you gotten out of it besides just the classroom experience? Um, what kind of things, what, what has it meant to you? Like, it's opening my mind to the world. Like, there's so much out here and there's so much I don't know about. Because like, I'm just used to the States and everybody's speaking English. But now I have to figure out how to get food and like, how to get like, to where I'm going and how to like, you know, like, even like, buy shampoo at the store. I mean... It's kind of hard, but it's fun. Like, you really learn a lot here. Yeah. And uh, do you think that, what would you tell an American student who is considering doing this kind of a program? Do it, for sure. I mean, it costs a lot of money, but it is totally worth it. And it's just, it's fun. You meet new people. Like, I meet, I know people from the East Coast now, because I'm from the West Coast, there's only two of us. And now I have friends all over the U.S. And it's great. Great. Thanks for sharing. Yeah.